Hey internet, welcome back to I Fake Normal. So, I was sick the past two and a half days. It all came on suddenly. I'm pretty sure it was allergies. Um, I don't know what it is with me lately where I'm not getting symptoms like I'm not getting... I was filming and I got a phone call because one of my friends is coming over. Um, but yeah, I was sick for the past couple of days. And I'm thinking it was allergies. Uh, I'm about 74% myself. So, great. Also, this is clearly my post-sickness hairdo, which is the... I felt like taking a shower and I combed my hair, but I don't feel like doing it, so braids it is. <laughs> uh, just really cool, you know. This is the look. It's gonna catch on, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I, I think it's allergy related, but also I'm putting, I'm putting two and five together and I'm getting that I didn't have coffee these, those past couple of days when I was sick. This could have alleviated the whole situation maybe. I think this is a magical bean that was in Jack's story and it could have cured all of my illness along with the like several medications I was taking and am still taking just to be on the safe side. Um, so I told you guys my goal was to have a finished script by the end of the year and I started in December and I tried to write every day, um, a little bit every day. <laughs> And it turns out, I think the story's going to be done really soon, actually. And it's too long already. But I feel like I, I had this sort of uh, cold, uh, cold medicine-induced uh, fever dream where I had this revelation, like, yeah, this is, this is the emotional breaking point for my character and I have to write it. Olive, stop. You talk so much. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm so excited. I, uh, I'm so excited that it's almost done, but at the same time, I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, granted, it's a almost done first draft, so first draft is still got a lot of work to go into it before it's something I could present to anybody seriously. But I, uh, my mind is blown by the speed at which I put that out. And uh, I'm just, I'm ready. And I'm ready to start making it a second draft so that I can get some editors looking at it um, and start putting it out there. Uh, a little faster than I, I expected, but... You know, who's to, you know, ride the wave. I'm not going to slow down my dreams. My dreams like, hey, it's coming at you full force. I'm going to be like, okay, dreams, let's do this. It's the time right now. Also, I want to talk a little bit about dreams. When I was in high school, I remember I said, I don't believe in dreams. And... For the longest time, I didn't believe in dreams. I said, I don't believe in dreams, I believe in plans. But the problem was that I didn't believe in plans that led to my dreams. Um, that changed after many years. Uh, but that was, that was the problem. I didn't see the... I, I made a complete disconnection. I thought dreams were just irrational and you had to stick with the plans and just follow through and pick something that was uh, more grounded in reality versus coming up with a plan to achieve impossible things. Uh, this is one of the reasons why The Wizard of Oz and Alice in Wonderland are like my favorite you can achieve impossible things. Uh, you know, you don't have to settle for the everyday mundane stuff you're accustomed to. It's 
just make your own reality. And it all sounds like BS, and it all sounds like fairy rose-colored glasses nonsense, but I'm realizing it's uh, the truth.